was horse printed out on my desk. Mm -hmm. I'll be in in an hour. I need to go over the layouts with the art form as well. Yep, same time as usual. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, did you get my memo on the testing results? The tea caddy's gonna be huge this year. Coffee's king, but tea's trending this season. Which reminds me, I still have a lot of concerns about that lemon squeezer. Uh-huh. All right, we're all set to finalize the catalog. It's black, white, touch of red. Classic, a little bit of whimsy. Uh-huh. Okay, well then what time is the meeting? We'll cancel it. We're gonna have to work through lunch. Uh-huh. So what did the memo say? We're gonna feature the chafing dish with the Brussels sprouts. Because Brussels sprouts are the new asparagus. All right. No, no, that is not what my father said. We're gonna leave with the electric pepper grinder. Mm-hmm. Okay. We still need to deal with the cheese slicer issue. Perfect. Thank you. Enjoy. Cheddar's out. Jarlsberg's in. Swiss, yes. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, sorry. Sorry. Can I... Okay. One second. Yeah. Swiss, yes. Colby, no. Havarti's a new Parmesan. Well, don't stop there. What about cheese whiz? Grizzly? Josie? I'm gonna have to call you back. Hi. Hi. Um, how long has yeah. it been? High school? Yeah. Oh, it's been like a million years since prom? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I can still see your parents' faces when I open yeah, that door. Yeah, well, I'm still seeing you in your shiny green tux. It was festive. It was pretty green. Well, I can still see you at the top of the stairs. You had the sparkly dress and your hair all it's whatever, big, really big. whatever you call it, with the flowers. <laughs> You're the prettiest girl I'd ever seen. Thanks. What happened to you? You really yeah. let yourself go. So I've heard all these stories about you just traveling all yeah. over the place. What are you doing back here in the city? You remember Teddy yes. from high school? Teddy, who sat behind you in algebra. Yeah, so he sold his tech company, and I'm house-sitting while he's in California. Six months free rent plus valet parking, and I find a place of my own. Yes. And I see in the meantime, you're dealing in driftwood. Yes, driftwood is the new plywood. Is when they it? sell, I do pretty well. These are really amazing. Thank you. And you're running a corporate empire? No, still working for my dad at Mayfield's. Oh, I just bought one of your spoons. Did you? Pasta? Salad? I have no idea. Right here? But he makes a great minute hand. That is pasta. Salad, pasta. It's pasta. What is this, a sundial? Yep. It's 7.30-ish. Uh, 7.30. Well, that's, I mean, it's really 7.20. Yeah, your watch. But I just, I said it 10 minutes early, so I'm not late. Why not 15? Because that would be neurotic. Mm, funny. I'm going to go, but would you like to share contact? Uh, I don't have a phone. Okay. Anywhere. <laughs> but if you got a pen, I'll write it on my hand. I definitely don't have a pen. Yes. Are you going to be here tomorrow? We're tight all week. Great. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Behave yourself. No promises. Hey, let me know how that cheese thing turns out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pasta. Where were we? Kidney. Greetings. I'm Josie Mayfield. 38 years ago, my father founded Mayfields right here in my mother's kitchen. Since then, the name Mayfields has been synonymous with cookware, bakeware, wooden spoons, and this year we are thrilled to introduce our new Mayfields tea line and lemon squeezer. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Obviously, we will reshoot the lemon mishap, but you get the idea, and I look at this as a two-pronged approach. We have a weekly video blog and a way to introduce our customers to new exciting products, such as the Mayfields Home Soda Maker for the serious soda aficionado. Mayfields is about coffee and tea, not soda. Yes, sir, I know, but the 18 to 49-year-old male is not drinking Earl Grey while watching Monday Night Football. Josie, do you know why Mayfields is still in business? Yes, because we stay the course and give the customers what they expect. Exactly. We're not growing, Dad. We're not shrinking either. <sighs> Fine. All right, the reps are in. I will handle them. Frances in accounting just had her baby, so we sent her a very nice gift basket with a Mayfield bottle warmer, and the product testing for the cheese slicer is tomorrow. That does it. Not quite. You are coming home for the party this weekend? Of course. Alone? 
No, I'm bringing Richard. Oh, I see. Daddy, what is wrong with Richard? He's the perfect man. On paper, yes. <sighs> He's ambitious. You love ambitious. He talks too fast. Really? All right, I don't know exactly, <laughs> but there's just something about it. Fine. Is there anyone I could bring home that you would approve? I guess you're just still my little girl. Janet, where are those reports? The fine's been waiting since Monday. Hey, what are you doing here? I missed you. Mm -hmm. And? And I need five minutes with uh, your father. He's not returning my calls. Richard. I know, but this client's a perfect fit. MBA from Penn, 10 years at P&G. He could run Mayfield's foreign sales with his eyes closed. And he speaks Mandarin. Trust me, the only Mandarin my father cares about is Mushu Port. You just put us in a room. You have his ear. I have his DNA, and you two have been in a room together. It did not go well. I really want him to like you. He will. No, he won't if you keep pitching him. Plus, he thinks you're a fast talker. What's wrong with talking fast? Fast talkers are untrustworthy. I'll wear him down, you'll see. What, like water erodes a mountain? Exactly. You do know that takes billions of years. I can wait. Dinner tonight? Uh, clients. Breakfast tomorrow. Uh, reps. How about lunch? Can't. Tied up all day. Day after looks good. Oh, 12.30? 1 o'clock. Placement's not a walk in the park. We're not gonna get this guy in a lateral hire. He's got options. Well, what do you want me to say to you? I'll call you back. <sighs> Mr. Mayfield. Richard. Richard Wright of Wright Silver and Gum Executive Search. Your daughter's boyfriend. Yes, I, uh, I remember. Did you press all of those buttons? No, sir. Some kid must have been in here. But while we're trapped in here, I'd like to run something by you. So how's next week looking for you? Um, another time then? So she'd like the napkins to be the same color. All right, just please remember the dessert fork, sterling only. Thank you. Coronation? Close. My parents are having a party this weekend. It's their 40th wedding anniversary. Oh, congrats. And my best. Yeah. On second thought, why ruin their day? Huh. What are you making here? I'm thinking camel. Oh, camels don't really sell. Oh, donkey? Oh, political connotations. You don't want to limit your clientele. All right. How about a horse? Yes, yes. Horses are the number four favorite animal after dogs, cats, and dolphins. Then horse it is. Mm -hmm. Giddy up. You know what? My boyfriend's partners play polo. This might look really nice in their reception area. You have a boyfriend? Yeah. Are you seeing somebody? Ah, not at the moment. So, who's the lucky guy? Oh. Thank you. Uh, he is an executive headhunter. Ouch. And what do your folks think of this boyfriend? Mm, you know, my dad, he doesn't think anybody's good enough for me. I know he didn't think I was good enough for you. Don't feel bad. Richard has everything that's on my father's checklist, and he still doesn't approve. Ah, the Mayfield checklist. Good job, good family, good manners. Goodbye. Pretty much. Well, I'm just going to come out and say it. You know why your dad's repulsed by this I guy? I never said he was repulsed. Look, it's his job. No father wants his daughter dating a cannibal in a suit. He's not a cannibal. He is a headhunter. What's the difference? Richard places clients in employment positions, and a cannibal chops people up and eats them for dinner. Tomato, tomato. Hey, 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 that's my minute hand. It's okay, I'll get you another one. I'll just do it. Okay. Josie Mayfield, please leave a message. Josie, it's your mother. I hope you're not bringing that Richard person to the party. Your father had a most uncomfortable incident with him in the elevator yesterday. At any rate, get back to me as soon as you can, dear. Working on infrastructure projects. If you ask me, is it too late? 
Dad, you should go to bed. You look tired. You're my crew shuffling again. How else is this place going to get in shape? Claire, there's not a napkin out of place. There hasn't been in years. Please just sit. Rex, dear, come. Rex, come. Mindy's coming in tomorrow. You do recall you have two daughters? When Mindy wants to join the company, I will muster more enthusiasm. For heaven's sake, let the girl finish college in peace. She's been there for five years. Josie finished in three. Yes, dear, I know. I was at the graduation. I just talked a little business, that's all. I spoke slowly. He doesn't trust people who speak slowly. I thought he didn't trust people who speak fast. He doesn't. Honey, can we please just keep our relationship separate from Mayfield's business? You're right. I'm sorry. I thought we were going to lunch. We are, but first I want you to see a driftwood horse. What? I ran into a friend of mine, and I would like to buy one of his sculptures for your office. Please just indulge me. He's an old friend from high school, and I want to help him. Why? Because we were good friends, you know? We did all the nerdy little clubs together, like Glee Club and prom decorating, and he seems a bit lost. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Lose your head there, buddy. Hi. Hey. Corporate takeover at the park? Gridley, this is Richard. Richard, this is Gridley. Richard Wright. Oh, so you are Mr. Wright. Literally. Good to meet you. You as well. Oh. So you two were friends? Yes, old friends. Maplewood High. Yeah, not to mention we went to prom together. <laughs> uh, sun tea? Anyone? Fresh jug? Actually, we're just on our way to lunch. Right, I wanted Richard to see your horse. Right. About that. I know you said camels don't sell, but I had to listen to my gut. And my gut just said camel. camel. <laughs> it said camel. Now, the only question is dromedary or Bactrian. Bactrian. It's more dramatic. All right. Well, now that that's settled, you kids ready for the big anniversary weekend? Oh. Oh, by the way, do not wear a green tux. They hate that. Thanks for the tip, but I'm actually not going. My parents are being my parents. Uh, well, don't take it personally. Mr. M gives all Josie's boyfriends a rough time. I mean, I probably won't even go, so it's fine. Well, if you don't go, they'll blame Richard. There's no coming back from that. True. That is a lose-lose. Well, we should head off. Good luck with the, uh, camel. All right. Thank you. Ooh, for you. What's this? The pasta and the salad spoon. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I can add a second hand. Good luck. I got it. I got it. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, well, I'd have to check my schedule. Uh, I'm wide open. You know what would make your parents roll out the welcome mat for me? Him. What? Bring him to the party. I mean, your parents think that there's somebody better for you out there. What if they see that there's someone worse? No offense. Uh, none taken? It's a terrible idea, Richard. Uh, well, actually, to be honest, it's kind of a brilliant idea. I mean, Mr. and Mrs. M probably still hate me. Yeah, and after a weekend with him, they'll think that I'm a prince. Okay, it's just I'm uncomfortable with this, and that's a bad position to put you in. Yeah, you're right, I don't yeah, Okay, it's just a thought. Okay, bye. Bye. So where do you want to go for lunch? Oh, I know this great new place. You know what? I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, anything to help you love birds out? All right. Well, we owe you. What's this? This is gas money. It's a long drive. Oh, no, no, my truck runs on vegetable oil. Converted it with a kit. Or vegetable oil, then. No, I get a free supply from the Chinese food place across the street. Thank you. OK. Are you sure you're OK with this? When do we leave? Yes, we're going to need more testing on the soda maker. Well, it's just not up to our standards yet. Sorry about that. Boy, it never stops, does it? That is family business for you. We have to make it perfect if it has the Mayfield name. Personal soda maker. Sounds expensive. You know you can buy soda at the dollar store. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's not as good. No, it's terrible, but it's a dollar. Our target market can afford it. 
So how is it working for your dad? You know, the less things change, the more they stay insane. Change is good. Sometimes. It'll buy you a bottle of soda. Touche. <laughs> Thanks again for coming this weekend. My pleasure. We owe you. Ah, what are friends for? Are you ready for this? Absolutely. We're here! Oh, hello, dear. <laughs> Oh, hi, Daddy. Hello, sweet Mr. and Mrs. M. Happy 50th. 40th. Oh, 30, 40, 50. The main thing is you're still together and you're so happy. Who's this? You remember Gridley from high school. Yes. Vividly. <laughs> ah. uh, uh. All right. How do you want to handle this, Mr. M? Handshake? High five, knuckle bump? Handshake. Uh. Your vehicle, it's, uh, it's leaking oil. Ah, well, no worries. It's vegetable oil. Good hose and will wash that right off. Something smells like Chinese food. Oh, yeah, that might be me. Nanking Gardens, good call. Well, we appreciate you bringing Josie home. Um, can I get you a glass of water before you leave? Oh, no, Mother, he's not leaving. He's staying for the weekend. I don't understand. He's my plus one. Ah. <laughs> What is this? We thought you were still seeing that Richard person. Oh, you didn't approve of Richard, so I started seeing other people. He's on the back burner for right now. And Maxwell Gridley is on the front burner? Yes. I ran into him while I was out jogging, and we have a history together. He makes me laugh. He has a very contagious outlook on life. Let's hope that's all that's contagious. Mindy? Gridley? <laughs> ah! Hey! Aren't you all grown up? You look great. Oh, you need your eyes checked. Nah, I'm 20-20. <laughs> so you and Josie, like? Ah, yes and no. Or no. You just getting here? I wish. Just running errands for Mother Superior. Was that a weapon? Grape scissors. Ah, crucial. <laughs> okay, does the driveway smell like Chinese food? Come on. Hi, sis. Hey. hey. Hi. Oh, oh, honey, you look so good. <laughs> Guess who is in town? Wade Wilson. Did you talk to him? No, I can't. Invite him to the party. Mom would be furious. You know how she feels about the Wilsons. Oh, besides, he wouldn't come. Mrs. M, this place is even better than I remember. Oh, wow. Uh, don't touch that, please. It's expensive. It's Fabergé. Oh, Dad gave that to Mom for the first wedding anniversary. Our second anniversary. Our first anniversary, we were poor. Well, poor in money, rich in love. Something like that. Hey, who's this? He's new. Rex, come. Rex, come. Come. Rex, come. Oh. He doesn't like people. Oh. Hey, fella. There you are. Oh, that's a good boy. Hi, Rex. Hi, Paul. Oh. Hey, fella. What do you call a triangle? Gridley, you remember my grandfather, right? Yes, of course. How are you, sir? You took me fishing once, remember? Oh, I love this show. He doesn't speak. It's been almost two years now. Oh, cool. Like a vow of silence? Dementia. Oh. <laughs> well, who doesn't have a touch of that? <laughs> Which overweight U.S. president got stuck in the presidential oh, I, know I know this. It's, um, wait. Ah, 
William Howard Taft. Everyone, I have a thrilling announcement. It appears patience and hard work really do pay off. The Mayfield House has secured the coveted beautiful homes page in the Sunday's Chronicle. Kudos, Mrs. M. Mom, that is so great. Thank you. Yeah, you've wanted that forever. Well, at least since the Wilson's house was selected. There you go. The Wilson's, huh? They still live next door? Unfortunately. He doesn't drink. At any rate, the photographer will be here tomorrow night to shoot the party. And it goes without saying, everything has to look perfect. And when hasn't it? Thank you, dear. To the Mayfields. The Chronicle. To Josie and Gridley. Hmm. I almost forgot. I brought presents. That isn't necessary. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. This really isn't necessary. No, no. it's no problem. All right. Mindy, thanks for welcoming me so warmly into your home. Sir? I remembered how much you liked hats. It's your favorite color, if I recall. Thanks, Gridley. Go on. I think you can like it. I know you love the canines. So. Oh, he looks exactly like Prince. Who's Prince? It's your favorite dog. He died last year. Oh, that's terrible. Should I? No. Oh, uh, <laughs> bet you haven't seen one of those in a while, huh? No, I haven't. Quite unexpected. Hey, come on. That's a good boy. Mrs. M, I am so sorry about Prince. Let's just not talk about it, shall we? Come on, let go. Come on. I am so sorry. I'll clean it up. No! I've got it. And take off that ridiculous hat. What he's done to you. Uh -huh. I ran into tux in that color once. Yes, we remember. I think it looks festive. Go wash that out right now. Can you please give us a moment alone with our daughter? Of course. And don't touch anything in there. It's for the party. Roger that. What were you thinking bringing him here? I don't even have a word for him. Well, I'm sure you'll think of one. It's a big mouth bass for the fishermen and all of us. Uh, may I? Begin, shall we? Bon appetit. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but I could eat a horse. Or a camel. I thought I told you to wash that out. I tried. It wouldn't come out. Well, I better not look like that tomorrow night when the photographer gets here. It's not the end of the world, Claire. Maxwell, I assume you have appropriate attire for the party tomorrow night? Don't worry, Mrs. M. I won't embarrass you. Learn that lesson at prom. <laughs> Nevertheless, Mr. Mayfield will lend you a jacket and a tie. Ooh, quite the selection. You will have 30 dark suits and 30 matching ties to choose from. Your father has always been a creature of habit, haven't you, dear? Not always. Well, this chicken is fantastic. It's Gornish game hen. It's a bit dry. It's like I always make it. Yes, it is. Tell me, Maxwell, what exactly do you do for a living? And the Inquisition begins.
hours. Well, to be honest, there aren't enough hours in the day to do everything I'd like to do. And what might those things be? Really works with driftwood, Dad. There's a living in that? Well, my income ebbs and flows with the tide. It's just like our business, Dad. But I can't say enough good things about driftwood. It's got character, it won't rot, and it's free. Of course, I, I do have other ventures, topiary. And I teach water aerobics at the community center on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Driftwood, topiary, and water aerobics. Hmm. Appears that you're a triple threat. Thank you. Indeed? Do we really need that? Well, don't put it back. You've already touched it. It's more for you and me, Gramps. Maxwell. You'll be staying in the yellow room tonight. The yellow room? Where is that? It is as far from my bedroom as possible without being outdoors. Mm hmm I don't know what in the world she sees in him. I should never have told her that I didn't like Richard. Oh, Rich is a dream compared to this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so what is going on with you and Gridley? Oh I mean, I have to be honest with you, out of all the guys that you ever brought home, he's the only one that I ever really liked. All right, I'm gonna tell you <laughs> something, but you do not say a word to mom and dad. Are we clear? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's just here to make Richard look better. What? He's doing me a favor. You know how mom and dad are. You're really gonna like Richard. Okay, well, um, what is he like? Well, he's sharp and really driven and good looking. So, he's you? <sighs> Definitely yellow. I wanted to see you in there, pal. But I did bring you a little treat from the dinner table. Come here. I think today went pretty well. Sort of. I mean, as long as Josie's happy, I'm golden, right? What do you think, Rex? I pull it off? Oh, you're easy. Oh dear, is one of your daughters dating a handyman? <laughs> I hear your son is in town. I hope he hasn't flunked out already. Quite the opposite. He's a perfect fit for an ivy. Joseph went to Yale. Really? And now he sells wooden spoons. A lot of them. <sighs> I just saw that dreadful Audrey Wilson. Here's your egglet and bagelette, dear. Photographer's coming at six. I'll never have everything ready in time. I don't know why you insist on doing everything yourself. Because that way I know things will be done right. I'm sure everything will be fine. Whew. Morning, Mrs. M. Mr. M. Rex and I were just about to go for a walk. The dog will get filthy. I'll have to bathe him again. It's a dog, Claire. Rex, dear, come. Rex! Come! Rex! Come on, boy. So big, man. Whoa! No, 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 no! 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 Oh! 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 What have you done? It wasn't me. It was. What am I talking about? It was totally my fault. I am so sorry. It's not so bad. Trey is fine. Oh, this is a nightmare. Mom, it's an accident. It's just a cake. No! This was my signature Dolce de Leche cake that was going to be featured in the Chronicle. I can fix this. Oh, you can't imagine my relief. Just, just give me an hour. Two tops. Oh, why not take half an hour or 15 minutes? After all, I only spent half the night baking it. Claire, call Village Bakery. I'm sure they can do something. Oh, better yet. 
Why don't I send Mindy to the supermarket to get a frozen pie? Claire? Are you protecting Rex? Hey, he's gotta live here. Poor Rex. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this cake. Any ideas? Oh, I don't bake. I don't cook. I can't even use a lemon squeezer. <laughs> we haven't had a Twinkie since we were little kids. Yeah, I bought them on sale. Look, Gridley, you don't have to do this. Yeah, I do. The point was to change her mind, not break her heart. Look alive. She's not gonna like it. We'll see. Whoop. Got it? Yeah, right beautiful, perfect. Do you want it level or do you want it staggered yeah, a little bit? Yeah, perfectly level. It's slightly staggered, a little cantilever. <laughs> it's like the arch we made for prom. <laughs> oh yeah, that was awesome. It was awesome until it fell on all those poor little juniors. Oh yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Stop it. All right, where does this go? Tell me that isn't the same tree that I, uh... TP? You knew? Yeah, I knew! Did your folks know? Oh, no, they blamed Wade Wilson for years! Oh, Wade Wilson, whatever happened to that brat? That's Dr. Brett to you, sir. He is first year med school. Well, I knew he'd never amount to anything. Right? You remember that trick that I used to do? Don't do it. You don't, remember it? Don't do it. You mean this one? This it's trick? It's so annoying. It's, this this, it's like the most the annoying thing. You did not. Oh. Stop it! Be an adult! Stop! My phone's ringing! Richard, hi, how's golf? What's in your hair? Huh? Uh, do you have frosting? I have frosting in my hair. Um, uh, Gridley's making a cake. Really? So, things are going well then? Mm, mm-hmm, fantastic. Yeah, they hate me. They do, they hate him so much. <laughs> Stop! Okay, honey, I gotta call you back, okay? Clock is ticking on this cake. Bye-bye. Sure. Mom, what do you think? Well, it's not my cake, but I suppose it will do. I can give you the recipe if you like. That will not be necessary. I gosh, I'm all the bear, huh? Would you please put down that toy? It's annoying. Okay, girls, follow me. We have work to do. Anyone up for a walk? No, thank you. Well, maybe I'll take Granddad then. Oh, he won't go. Okay. Rex? He won't go either. All right. Guess I'll go by myself. I always loved this town. I grew up near the gas station up on Hill. It wasn't the most glamorous address, but we did have nice big old trees. Oak. They're sycamore trees. Yeah. Good call on the William Howard Taft, though. Wait. I, I thought you didn't talk. Dementia. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sharp as a tack, yeah. This way I get to tune everybody out. Well, that's. <laughs> That's genius. Who else knows about this? Uh, nobody. And I want to keep it that way. Hey, my lips are sealed. Time to turn around. Oh. <sighs> what about Josie and Mindy? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Collateral damage, I guess. But don't worry, I'll make up for my will. Party was inside. Well, it's just in case someone looks out a window. Right. What are we doing? Rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. Fun. Um, I wanted to mention to you that Richard really does have a lot of great contacts. So if you're ever looking for like a a real job. Well, I mean, it's not like you need one, but should the driftwood thing ever drift away? Uh, I'll call Richard Wright of Wright Silver and Gunk. It's gum. What? Gum? Oh no, thanks. Trying to quit. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry about the green hair. Actually, I owe you an apology. 
I lied, it does come out. What? Okay, I like having green hair. It makes me feel like I'm someone else. Mindy, why would you want to be somebody else? Uh, because I'm invisible in this family? I'm like an afterthought. That's not true. Come on, Josie. You've always been the favorite. And you're the go-getter, like Dad, and I'm the Mayfield black sheep. Or the green sheep. <laughs> All right, look, you're not supposed to know what you're doing at this age. But you did. But you're in college still. I, I dropped out. Mindy, when? Last year. Please don't tell mom and dad, okay? They're just gonna freak out. Look, I have a job at a coffee house. I, I'm singing there. And the thing is, I wanna be a singer. I know how incredibly stupid that sounds, no, believe me, not, but... it's not stupid. Really? No, remember? We used to good friend all the time. Singing the oldies. <laughs> Won't you come home, Bill yeah. Bailey? Yeah, but I was eight. How come you didn't tell me this before? I don't know. I guess I just assumed you wouldn't approve. That's crazy. Why wouldn't I approve? Uh, because you have an MBA? And you went straight into the family business, and you pretty much haven't made a misstep since you could walk. Mindy, you are a great singer. You always have been, and I'm really, really proud of you for doing this, okay? That other stuff, that's Dad. That's stuff he cares about, not me. Wait, are you saying that I'm like Dad? Uh, it's up! Help! <gasps> What? It's Wade Wilson. What do we do? We gotta throw it back. No, no, no. You hand it back. Okay, and then what do I do? Oh, just think about what your mother would do. And do the exact opposite. Right, right. Okay, now. No, no. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. No, no, no. Good luck. We should probably go. I mean. Mindy? Hey. Thanks. You're welcome. I like your hair. <laughs> Thanks. Is that Gridley? Yeah. That guy got me blamed for TP in your yard. Yeah, I think there's still some left up on our roof. <laughs> hey, so um, how much longer are you in town for? Just the weekend. You? I'm just till my parents' party's over. <laughs> we weren't invited. Oh, well, lucky you. I haven't seen you so long. Come on. Let's give these kids some privacy. Hey, you don't think I'm like my dad, do you? Nah, you're way prettier. Maybe a little. I could be wrong. Oh, you're right. I mean, he's like a Swiss watch, and I suppose I am too. I haven't had a spontaneous moment in forever. Hey, you invited me home. You wouldn't have done that. Oh, Richard invited you home, actually. And I got through the front door this time. Good work. Dolce de leche? I think we just found your mom's signature cake. It's from a bakery. I cannot believe that all these years she's been pretending to make this. I mean, what am I saying? Of course I can believe it. Let's go back. Jeez. Who's out there? It's just me. Mate Wilson. <laughs> But what about the time Mrs. Oh. L put on the panda suit? <laughs> and she was talking to everybody. <laughs> That's so dumb. She was a good teacher. Oh, uh, she was all right. <laughs> oh, my. How many times did we skip chemistry to play frisbee? Well, it's because that auditorium window was always loose. They made it too easy. It probably still is. Yeah. <laughs> I was there a lot. Come on. Maybe there's another one. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'll go. No, no, no. Come on, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. You're 
years ago. Back in my locker. No. Nope. Where is it? Numberless. And they took the Green Day sticker off. How dare they? Right? Ruined. Where are our pictures? Are they in the trophy case? We have to look. I mean, we were a pretty big deal. I mean, pretty big. <laughs> oh, it's not. No, this is sports. No, this is that sports. Is we weren't even allowed to look at this. Not moment. us. Grilly, here oh. we are! Senior prom decorating committee, look at that. <laughs> Why did you let me wear my hair like that? That's awful. Yo, clearly hair was my thing. Well, no, you were captain of building things. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they even stayed up. Mm -hmm. That was all so much fun. What happened? Why did we lose touch? We were such great friends. I don't know. Life goes on, I guess. You went to Wharton, and I went to Walmart. Hey, what did happen with school? I mean, you had really good grades. Yeah, I went for a year, a scholarship. Where? MIT, engineering. Really, you did not drop out of MIT. Uh, you know, my mom got sick and I wanted to help out and then after she died, I just kind of lost interest in school. Hey, I didn't know any of that. Huh. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's horrible. It's all right. I, it pushed me in another direction. I groomed horses in Kentucky. <laughs> I taught English in Guatemala. I did ski patrol in Utah. I even crewed a lobster boat in Maine. Won't be doing that again. Oh. Yeah. You've lived like 10 lives. I can barely manage one. Oh, I think you're managing pretty well. I should have defended you back then. No, it's all right. It's not. I mean, it did bother me that your parents didn't think I was good enough, but it was a long time ago. They were wrong. They're wrong now. I'm sorry. I want you to know that. I'm, I'm really sorry. Apology accepted. Sorry to interrupt. Apparently I'm supposed to borrow a dark suit, a white shirt, and a tie. You winning? And losing. Broke to Queen's Bishop. I wouldn't have taken you for a chess player. Well, my dad taught me. Hmm. Pull up a chair. What does your dad do for a living? A uh, mechanic. Actually, he fixed your car once. He worked at the station up on Hill. Ah, it's a long time ago. You probably don't remember. Big guy, red hair. <laughs> that was him. I do remember. <laughs> he did a really good job. Very reasonable, too. That he was. You still working? Yeah, a little. Moved to Florida after my mom died. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, we had a lot of good years together. Not as many as you and Mrs. M. We've had a lot of years, I'll say that. Hmm. 40, that's a lifetime. Sometimes it feels like two lifetimes. She's working really hard to make this party nice. Must mean a lot to her. What means a lot to Claire is getting on the cover of the Chronicle. Your move. Uh, by the way, thank you for the slinky. It uh, uh, reminds me of a time when things weren't so ordered. You're welcome. Check. You know, it's good manners to let your host win. Not a chance.
Wow. You look... Like my mother. Well, I was gonna say beautiful, but yeah, that works. Well, look at you. You're just like... CEO of Driftwood Inc. Mm -hmm. Full Windsor, Half Windsor, Eldridge, or Cape Knot. What? Half Windsor is the new Full Windsor. Eldridge is the new Half Windsor. Oh, it's a tough call. Mm -hmm. Eldridge. Handsome. I'm gonna go fix that before the National Guard gets called in. Yes, of course. Okay, there you go. All right, easy now. Watch your step. Uh, careful. Slippery. Okay. Careful. Careful. I'm fine. I'm not fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorry to intrude, the door was open. I just wanted to drop off an anniversary gift. May your next 40 years be as happy as the first 40. Thank you, Richard. You want to open it? I know how much you like coffee and tea products. And this baby is straight from Switzerland. It's the next generation in espresso machines. Hasn't even hit the market yet. I had a client pull a few strings. Oh, that's very generous. Very. Hi, Granddad. Richard, this is my granddad. Hi. Nice to meet you, sir. We can hear he just doesn't speak. Oh. It's okay. Hi. Uh, and this is my sister, Mindy. Uh, Mindy, I've heard so much about you. You too. Thank you. Lost you, Mindy. So I can see that you've all got a lot going on here, so I will just head out before your guests arrive. I won't hear of it. You'll stay for the party. Oh, no, thank you. But I've got a long drive back. Nonsense. We insist you stay. In fact, you'll spend the night. You can have the blue room upstairs at the end of the hall. Thank you. You know, we used to stock this line, but the, the frother always broke. Oh. Not on this one. This is a Euro Impressa from Switzerland. Top of the line. I... Why don't you let me show you? Let's go to the kitchen. This baby is the Lamborghini of espresso makers. All the bells and whistles. Uh, die cast aluminum boiler, uh, overheating protection device. A 20 bar high pressure pump. I'm just going to plug it in and fire it up, and I will show you how amazing. Oh, I don't believe it. That stupid fish knocked the power out. What did I do to deserve this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Mom, where are the extra candles? I don't know. I can't see a thing. Joseph, get a flashlight. Flashlight app. Thank you, Richard. Where's the panel? I'll check the breakers. You've done quite enough. How do I get out of here? Mayfield, I'll be happy to check the breakers. They're downstairs. I'll help you. I don't know how hard it is to get candle wax out. Next thing you know, there'll be a fire. The electrician can't get here until tomorrow. It's a disaster. The photographer's going to be here any minute. You know, I saw a generator in the Wilson's yard. We don't associate with the Wilson's. Claire, take a deep breath, sit down. I'm sure everything will be fine. I don't see how. Okay. This door is. Just slow down. It's on the left, right here. Turn. Okay, shine the light. It's over here. What are you doing here? Why were your arms around him? Oh, Richard, I lost my balance. This was a bad idea. No, he's doing us a favor. Oh, yeah? Well, it looks like he's having too good a time. He's not. 
And besides, my parents just invited you to spend the night. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I just I saw you with them, and I got a little bit jealous. <laughs> How crazy is that? Yeah. Right? This reminds me of our first date. Oh, this is worse. Well, the electricity went out in that restaurant. Don't remind me. I forgot my wallet. I know, I lost my contact lens. I couldn't even pay the bill. Couldn't pay a lot of bills in those days. <laughs> All right, we should do the trick. Oh, perfect. Thanks, guys. Hey, no problem. You know, it's nice to see Mindy open up. Well, maybe we should get you some green hair. No, 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 no. I'll stick with the gray. Can I be honest with you? Well, if you have to. Kind of like being in a relationship, even if it's pretend. Still pretend, huh? Does it matter? She's with Richard. That guy's a stiff. I don't know, Gramps. Might be in over my head here. Let me tell you something. If you never commit to anything, you're gonna miss out on some of the best things in life. You know you're a guy who hasn't spoken to his family in two years. <laughs> All right, fingers crossed. Oh, just in time. Easy. Watch your step. We can't thank you enough. Well done, Richard. Bravo. My pleasure. I don't know what we would have done. You gonna let that suit take credit? <sighs> That's what I'm here for. Huh? You say so. All right, let's get going. We have so much to do before everyone gets here. Joseph, go to... check on the food. Richard, get, get those candles. Uh, sure. Okay, Dad, you need to get dressed. Go on. You too, Richard. And how do we think today went, Rex? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Let me get this noose off my neck. What are you doing? What? Parents love Richard, they hate me. My work here is done. You're not leaving. Well, you don't need me anymore. Yeah, I do. You do? Really, just stay. It's a party, okay? Just. Wait, so let me get this straight. You want me to be your plus two now? Or am I your plus one and Richard is your plus two? Just stay. So you're gonna stay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. No, I'm sticking with plus one. I was here first. Thanks for fixing the lights. How do you like that? It's not here. Well, it couldn't have just disappeared. Well, that's it. We've looked everywhere. What's wrong? Your mother's Fabergé egg is missing. We've combed the room, it's gone. I hate to be the one to say it, but I think we all know where it's gone. What do you mean? Where's Gridley? Oh, you're not blaming Gridley. What do you really know about him, Josie? Stop it, I've known Gridley my whole life. It's been a long time since high school. Gridley is not a thief. He would never do anything like that. He doesn't care about an egg. Do you know how much that egg is worth? Mother, yes, we all know. It'll show up, Claire, and if it doesn't, we'll get another one. It's the Chronicle. Did you take that egg to make him look bad? <laughs> no, he's done that all on his own. So you didn't take it? Of course not. Ready, Mrs. Mason? Welcome to our happy home. Smiles. Yes. 
Sí, también. Hi, Richard. Uh, gentlemen, over here, please. Oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> and can I get your names for the Chronicle? I'm uh, Richard Wright of Wright Silver and Gum. This is my card. Uh, Gridley of, uh, well, just Gridley. Been there. <laughs> Haven't we all? <laughs> and who are you gentlemen to the family? I'm I Josie Mayfield's boyfriend. And I'm her, He's a, uh, an acquaintance. Uh, but Josie and I did go to prom together. Maplewood High. My alma mater. You're kidding. Bear down, Maplewood! Fight, Lee, fight! Well, roots in the community, enduring friendship. The Chronicle loves this stuff. Are you from here too? Sadly, no. But um, I... Miss Mayfield, I'd uh, love to get a shot of you and your old high school boyfriend. Oh, no, we only went out the one time, but it was memorable. <laughs> it was. Uh, would you mind uh, putting your arm around her? I think I can do that. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Honey, nope. Excuse me. What? what are you guys, best friends? Can you take that around to the back? Thank you. Why aren't you socializing? Because he isn't coming. Who isn't coming? Wade. I invited him to the party. Well, what do you expect with those horrible parents of his? Well, I like him. And I I thought he was starting to like me, too. You'll find someone else. Come on. Mom, what if I don't want to find someone else? Excuse me? How about a picture of you two? <sighs> of course. Could you shoot it from the right, please? Do you have to control everything that I do? Somebody has to. You're right. Me. <sighs> Could you keep hey, behind Mom, your ears, Frank? Mom, I like the green hair. And I'm keeping it. Okay, I know it doesn't fit into the Mayfield image, but I don't fit into the Mayfield image. Mindy! My whole life I've been under Josie's shadow, trying to be who you want me to be. I'm not Josie, but I am worth something. And I dropped out of college. What? When did this happen? Two semesters ago. And where has my tuition been going? It's in a bank account. You can have it all back. I have a job. I'm singing in a coffee house. You can't be serious. This is who I am. And who exactly might that be? Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? She moans all day long. Look, this really isn't I'll a pro- I'll do the cooking, honey. I'll pay the rent. I know that I've done wrong. Remember that rainy evening I kicked you out with nothing but a fine tooth comb. I know I'm to blame. Ain't that a shame? Bill Bailey, won't you please come?
Wow. Yeah, it's Richard. I need a favor. I need you to check someone out for me. I decided it was invite all the other retailers to see our new Anyway, I noticed people were starting to sweat. So finally, I walked into the middle of the room and I said, listen, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen business. <laughs> Dad's telling jokes and Mom's laughing. Who are these people? Well, tell me they're not going to turn back into our parents again. <laughs> you remember that? Of course I remember that. Do you remember what you were like when you started the business? You were so full of ideas. Mayfield's was your idea. No. I may have contributed a bit. More than a bit. There would be no Mayfields if it was not for your kitchen. Thank you. It was sort of fun back then, wasn't it? We were a team. We were. You know, oh, this probably isn't the right moment, but I have had a thought about the business. And I, oh, no, I shouldn't say it. Of course you should say it. Well, I was thinking about a line of dogware for the kitchen. You know, plates, bowls, etc. Do you remember Prince's favorite bowl? <laughs> Didn't he eat that bowl? Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> and, Gentlemen, let me introduce you to my daughters, Josie and Mindy. Hi, how are you? How nice you to doing? meet you. And how's business, Joseph? Oh, could be better. Right, Josie? Well, it could be worse. We're certainly not shrinking. The fact is, is that we're not growing. And actually, uh, Claire just had a very interesting idea. I think that Mayfields is going to introduce a line of dogware. A canine line? Oh, Mom, I love it. It's great. Why don't we do a line for cats as well? Smiles, please. Great. I've got everything I need, so you enjoy the rest of your evening. No, we were just about to cut the cake. Take care of it, Mrs. M. Twist my arm. To Mr. and Mrs. M. Still together after all these years. The tide may have taken you here or there, but true love, like driftwood, reinvents itself and stands the test of time. To love. May it always find its way. Well, that is certainly fantastic. Yes, it is. I love that. Did you make this? Oh, uh, well, uh, 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 she did. It's not what she normally makes, but this time she decided to try something a little different. It's incredible, Mrs. Mayfield. Thank you. I'd love to get some shots of the family with the cake. <laughs> and smiles, everyone. What's that shiny thing over there? Oh, uh, this is a uh, Eura Impressa coffee machine. This is imported from Switzerland. Yeah, I'm getting a reflection from that. Do you think we could uh, move it somewhere, preferably out of the room? Oh, not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Smiles, everyone. Beautiful. What a cake. <laughs> What's it made of? That's my little secret.
delicious, Mrs. Mayfield. Thank you, dear. And what is that taste? It's so familiar. Ah, it really is good, isn't it? Mm. I need to know what? what's in the cake. What's in the cake? <laughs> it's incredible. Oh. oh my, I don't believe it. We made the front page. Congratulations, dear. Oh, when the Wilsons were in, they only got page nine. <laughs> oh, listen to this. To my great relief, the Mayfield house was not yet another picture-perfect postcard. Instead, it was a delightful combination of whimsy, warmth, and fun. Claire Mayfield has created a true home and an anniversary cake made of Twinkies. <laughs> Twinkies? I knew that tasted familiar. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations on the Chronicle, after waiting all these years. Yes, and the cover, too. I'm sorry. What page was your little story on again? You know, we're so proud of our Wade. It'd be so nice to have another doctor in the family. Perhaps he'll specialize in plastic surgery. And what are your daughters doing nowadays? You know, I'm so glad you asked. Josie is still in wooden spoons, and Mindy... She sings in a coffee house. Oh, dear. She's very good. In fact, we couldn't be prouder. Enjoy your day. Good grief, that woman is a snob. <laughs> <sighs> you know what's funny? I wanted this party so I could get in the Chronicle. I guess I was so caught up in appearances because they're all I really have. That's not true. It is. The girls are grown. You and I, we've drifted like a piece of that wood. I mean, until last night, I'd forgotten what it was like to have you listen to me. I like being a team again. So do I. And suddenly, <laughs> our anniversary means so much more to me than any newspaper. So, better than I even imagined. Oh, Mommy, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Oh, my. Ooh. Where's Granddad? <laughs> oh, he went for a walk by himself. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. M. He's been around the block a few times. Well, that's true. Non fat latte, Mr. Mayfield. Thank you, Richard. Ridley? I thought you might be able to use this for your vehicle. Extra virgin olive oil. This is the good stuff. Of course. We are Mayfields, after all. I can get an extra five miles to the gallon with this. <laughs> Thank you. Put it by my bag. You're welcome. You know, I was, uh, I was thinking about your driftwood. Now, we normally go with acacia on our salad bowls, but I wouldn't mind mixing things up a bit. I know you're not exactly a corporate guy, although you did look good in my suit. Can't argue with that. Why don't you pop by the office and we'll discuss some ideas, your schedule permitting. My schedule? Um, yep, I'm wide open at the moment. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but uh, that's not exactly true. Is it, Gridley? Something on your mind, Dick? Actually, there is. Just wondering why you're leaving next week on a one-way ticket. Puerto Rico this time, is it? What's going on? I made a few calls and I'm glad I did. This guy moves every six months. Obviously, he's running from something. Richard, why are you doing this? I'm just trying to protect you, Josie, and your family. Okay, but just so you know, Gridley is going to Puerto Rico because it's a place he's never been before and a friend asked him to crew on a boat. You knew? Of course I knew. I mean, it's just Gridley being Gridley. No, Josie. Um, 
Mr. Wright here is right. I haven't been completely honest. Mr. and Mrs. M, I have some confessions to make. Um, number one, I TP'd your house in 12th grade. <laughs> it was a brilliant job, but I feel bad nonetheless. <laughs> number two, I do move around a lot. Never stayed anywhere very long because I never really had a reason to. But I think I might have a reason now. There you are. In three, I still have feelings for your daughter, sir. Josie, I... My egg! Oh, no. And I was just starting to like you. I have no idea how that got in there. No, oh, this is... This is just disappointing. Mrs. M, I didn't... I didn't take your egg. I don't even like eggs. Well, I'm sure there's an explanation. Isn't there? Probably. I don't have one. Look, I am a lot of things that you don't approve of, but I am not a thief. I think I should go. Oh, Rex, you're a good boy. Hey, go to Mrs. M. Oh, Rex. I know you didn't take the egg. Thank you. <laughs> um, look, about what I said in there, I shouldn't have put you on the spot like that, but I meant every word. I don't know. I, sh I don't know. Hey, hey, don't. Oh, it's okay. What did I expect? I mean, this wasn't the plan. Everything worked out the way it was supposed to. I just want you to be happy. Well, this brunch is excellent. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Mr. Mayfield, if you have a moment before we leave, uh, I'd love to talk with you about my client. Well, how about right now? Great, because this guy is perfect for your foreign sales. He's an international marketing genius, and he speaks Mandarin. Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Well, I was just thinking of Gridley's van running on Chinese food. Do you know how hungry I was driving up in that thing? All I could think about was beef and broccoli. I could kill it with some orange chicken right now. <laughs> Kung Pao shrimp. Mugu guy pan. I just can't believe he was gonna steal my egg. Mother, he wasn't gonna steal your egg. We've been over this. I know, but still. Claire, forget the egg. How can I? Because, because it's a fake. What? I couldn't afford to buy you a real one back then. I was just trying to impress you, and I know you were disappointed on our first anniversary. I wasn't disappointed. But it was only a rose. I've kept that rose for 39 years. Here we go. My signature Dolce de Leche cake. 
from a bakery. Never made it, not even once. I never liked that cake. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josie, I have some news for you. I believe your mother is going to be returning to the company. What? Oh, Mom. Mom, that's, I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect. You can have my office, you can redecorate, you can do anything you want. I don't understand. I will always be your little girl, but you've laid my whole life out for me. Daddy, I don't care about tea caddies or mixing bowls. I don't cook. It's like I woke up one day and I was in my 30s and I can't even take a walk without map questing. What are you saying then? Are, are you quitting? I just think I definitely need some time to figure things out. Isn't this a bit sudden? Actually, I think it's very long overdue. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. We trust your decisions. If you and Richard want to be together, it's with our blessing. Oh, honey, isn't that great? And we trust your decisions too, Mindy. Even if they involve green hair. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Me either. What if we say, it's about time. Well, uh, Wade's coming to hear me sing next week. Maybe you guys could come too. We'd love to. Wouldn't we, Joe? You haven't called me Joe in ages. <laughs> hey, that's, that's my watch. Rex! What did you do? Oh, Rex. Well. <laughs> There's your thief. So Gridley was telling the truth. Excuse me. You know, if this client works out, he's got another one in distribution. He's a genius. Why don't we just stick with the one for now? <laughs> so, what now? What do you mean? Josie, you've been bringing guys home like Richard for years and just using Dad's disapproval as an excuse to say goodbye. That's not true. Okay, well, it just seems to me that if you ever really liked any of them, you'd have fought for them. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll talk to her and I'll call you right back. Hi, babe, I just got off the phone with my guy at r &L. I think I can get you a job, but I have to act fast. Richard, I can't. You don't, you don't want the job? No, okay. Um, you and I don't make sense. I mean, maybe we do on paper. I'm just, I'm so sorry. I don't understand. Well, that's the problem. Is this about your little high school sweetheart? I, you can't be serious about Ridley. I mean, the guy is a complete loser. No, he's not. And I let him walk away once before. I can't do it again. Take my car. Josie. You're going after Gridley. Oh. <laughs> you go, girl. What? Uh. I knew it. <laughs> Dad. Huh? Oh. I, I guess I have some explaining to do. You certainly do. How long have you been able to speak? Um. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh.
much you regret tearing up that ticket. I didn't really think it all the way through. This weekend didn't turn out like I thought it would. Nothing ever does. Well, I have a confession to make, too. What kind of confession? I don't want Mr. Right. No? I want Mr. Wrong. Mr. Totally Wrong. <laughs>